who is better offensively, right? Mm-hmm. Kobe Bryant or LeBron James? Since Crunch won last time, uh, I'm going to go with P5. P5, your minute and 30 second count up. presentation round starts right now. All right, uh, starting off right now, as great as I think Kobe Bryant is, I think LeBron James is the more complete and overall the more dominant offensive player because I think what LeBron James does so well is not only does he provide creation for himself as a scorer, and which we all know he is one of the greatest scorers of all time, translating from regular season to postseason, he is also one of the greatest of all time, undeniably, at creating op- scoring opportunities for his teammates. This has been proven many times throughout NBA history. The main example, in my opinion, is Kyrie Irving. Uh, Kyrie Irving had by far his best season, his best postseason runs playing next to LeBron James. That's because, you know, even though Kyrie is amazing at creating for himself, LeBron James also was creating for Kyrie, if that makes sense. So, yes, what LeBron James does so well is playmaking, passing, creating for others at an all-time level, while also creating for himself at an all-time level. How he does that is by getting to the rim, which is, in my opinion, still even in today's game, the most important aspect of basketball, being able to get to the rim and collapse the defense. And then be good enough and smart enough to make the read to make the right read, whether it's a pass to a cutting to a cutting man who's you know cutting baseline, passing it out to a corner. Um, these are things that LeBron James has done so well so many times. Also, as a jump shooter, even though I don't think LeBron James has ever mastered you know the art of jump shooting, it's 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 always certainly been certainly been good enough to um, you know warrant being at least being guarded at the perimeter, which you know cr- creates an advantage for him because. Essentially, against anybody throughout NBA history, he's bigger than anyone. He's stronger than anyone. He's faster than anyone. That lets him get to the rim, collapse the deep, collapse defense, and create opportunities for his teammates. Um, we've seen LeBron James be able to be, be be versatile as well, even off the ball when he's playing next to other superstars like Dwayne Wade. Uh, you know, other ball dominant players. LeBron James showed the ability to you know be an amazing cutter off, amazing cutter to the basket. Kobe Bryant is just simply a better offensive. Uh, play it in LeBron James. I really don't even know why we're entertaining this because, for one, LeBron James himself has already said that Kobe Bryant is somebody that has zero flaws in his game. We all know that LeBron James is somebody that had to periodically work on different flaws throughout the course of his career. Kobe Bryant is a more skilled offensive player. He's a more, he's a better three-level scorer. He's he shoots better shooting splits than LeBron James. He has better footwork than LeBron James. And we want to talk about playmaking and stuff. Kobe Bryant is somebody that has led his team and assist for all of his championship runs with no with no shot creator on his team, no elite playmaker on his team, which LeBron has had the luxury of playing with all types of players like this, which will make it easier and take off the offensive load. So that means Kobe Bryant had to be the dominant scorer on his team, as well as uh, leading his team in assists for all of his rings. He can play in a system because he played in a triangle offense. He can play off ball and attract double teams on and off the ball, which is going to open up shots for his team, such as such as all the shots that, you know, Fisher and Ronald Tess and guys like that hit because of Kobe Bryant's double team and gravity attraction, which he can also drop and kick because he's one of the most dominant drivers of the basketball. This is simple stuff as far as driving and kicking. Uh, so at the end of the day, you have to look at that so he can shot create for himself and he can create for his teammates. He had no shot creators and no playmakers on his team. So you have to look at the uh, all the responsibility he has to play with. He has he's, he has the ability to put pressure on the defense better because guys have sagged off of LeBron James versus having to literally close out every time Kobe Bryant has a ball, or even if he doesn't have the, have the ball, you have to deny him. And he can also slash and dunk on you and stuff, just like LeBron James. So you have to look at that, bro, because it's more than just the stats. You know what I'm saying? It's about the impact on the defensive end. When you're a great offensive player, you have imminent impact on the defense. And that's what Kobe Bryant has because it's easier to guard LeBron James because you can sag off of him and literally let him shoot threes. That's what the teams have said that they build a wall. Uh, and so at the end of the day, Kobe Bryant – it's just more efficient than Le- LeBron James from the free throw line by a wide margin. You know, like, a lot of the things that you said, like, for example, the driving and kicking, the drawing, defensive gravity, right? A lot of that stuff. LeBron just does that better than Kobe. Kobe was amazing at it, but LeBron James does yeah, that at a level. that's what I was saying. LeBron now, I don't think, that I, I, I don't Bryant. think many other touch. And also, please, no, no, I, no, 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 I'll give no, you your time. No, I was saying, I agree and then, like, and then you, you emphasize on. people sagging off of LeBron when? I agree when? with that part. Early in his career? Or are, are we talking about the 2010? I was saying that Kobe Bryant is better off the ball. LeBron is better, like, as far as driving and kicking. But Kobe has more handles and footwork, so he has a better in-between game. He can break down in defense better. Yeah, he has better in For example, P5. 
they say LeBron was too young. His offensive game wasn't sharp enough to beat the Spurs in 07. But Kobe, when he was 22, the same age, he averaged 33 on them. That's yeah, because he's better. Yeah, and, no, and, no, and, no, and, 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 and you want to talk and about, and talk about and you want to talk about offensive talent and being able to take off of your team and take attention off of you. He had Shaquille O'Neal on his team, right? He did that with Shaq. Right? I told you that because if he had that with Shaq, right? It's gonna make it harder because the paint is more clogged. So we're gonna end up having it's gonna be harder. No, Shaq drew attention to the paint. What are you talking about? Hold on, bro. I'm saying what's going to end up happening is the paint is more clawed and there's less spacing. Whereas LeBron, of course, you're going to have a lot of job and kick because he has no like clogged paint because you made everybody a spot up shooter. Even Kevin Love was who was the Kobe best. Kobe Bryant had Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal, every you're time not, he no, the ball, the drew two or three that. defenders so to him. To play that creates of open shots so for Kobe Bryant. So he's able to play what? off of Shaq and then turn around and lead Pau Gasol so he can do it multiple ways, versatility wise, versus. He did not have to team up with other shot creating guards to take the offensive load off of him. LeBron James has proven many that's times throughout his career. No, LeBron James, wait, hold on, wait one no, moment. LeBron not, James no, no, no. has proven many I'm times throughout his career that even no, no, no. without I'm another elite this, shot creator, without the other elite the playmaker, like in the 2020 league. Lakers, LeBron like on the 2018 on Cavs, no, right, cool. the 07 right, Cavs, right, cool. he's made deep postseason runs and made it to the finals and one of those cases won the finals. So LeBron has also proven the ability to do all these things. shooting team in the league multiple times and couldn't get it done. Even in even twenty seventeen and twenty seventeen had the best three point shooting team in the league and still lost to the Golden State. And look at who they play. They play Stephen on, Curry, on, Kevin that's Durant, that's Clay that's Thompson, that's Draymond that's Green. That's Green. That's and guess why they were the best three point shooting team in the league? Flaws, because you know, LeBron James he was the one creating for those other guys. Bro, bro, it's going over your head what I'm saying. How? They lost because he had offensive flaws. No, they he lost the because they played a better team. Bro. They lost because they played a bit. Okay, so why did Kobe bro, lose in 04? Yeah, why did Kobe yeah, lose in 04? Why did Kobe lose in 04? So why did Kobe lose in 04? What happened in 04? That's my last point. I'll give it to you. All right, go ahead. Nine, hold on. In 09, when he had a better three point shooting team than the Lakers and the Magic, he lost to the Magic, and Kobe beat them in the finals with less space and on his team. That is an example of him being a better offensive player because. Yeah, because Kobe Bryant has a better than Dwight Howard. He also did against the. Boston Celtics and the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, all that all was your last point. Now let me get to it. Now let me get to it. Now let me now, now let me jump in. Now let me now let me jump in. Now hey, wait, 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 wait. Now let me jump in. You want to talk about teams losing, right? What what happened to Kobe in 04? What happened to Kobe in 04? Right. So 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 Kobe gets to blame in 04 for for losing, right? But LeBron, who plays great in the 2017 Finals, LeBron, who plays great in the 2017 Finals. And loses to a super team, right? The Cavs was a super team. The Cavs had three franchise guys on it. The Warriors who? had two. Who are the franchise guys? Who are the franchise guys? Who are the franchise guys? Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. Who was Kevin Love was a spot up shooter for that team. We're not doing this. No, we're not. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. That Warriors team had Stephen Curry, had Kevin Durant, and had one of the greatest defensive players in this generation. Had Clay Thompson on it. Two franchise players. LeBron and Kyrie is and that team was one of the worst team. defensive teams in the league. You're not hearing what I'm saying. They had the best three point shooting team in the league, and they, and had they were three, also one of the worst defensive teams. Hold on, they were also not a good defensive team. They had the advantage. 